Hey guys, we're here at IFA 2013 in Berlin where Lenovo have announced their new premium smartphone, the Lenovo Vibe X. Now, similar to, let's just talk about the design of this. The Vibe X is exceptionally thin, it's just 6.9 millimeters and very, very light at 121 grams. It doesn't feel like 121 grams though, it feels much, much lighter. Similar to the S5000 tablet, the Vibex comes with the same design, the flush back with a silver, with a metal band at the bottom. On the back is a 13 megapixel camera, and on the front, just like their compatriot Huawei, they've chosen to go with a five megapixel front snapper. Where we've seen the back camera race pretty much dominated by Nokia, and their 41 megapixel PureView Lumia 1020 smartphone, it does look like the new front facing camera is gonna be the one going forward. As you can see, Lenovo put their own skin on the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean operating system. It's very similar to what we've seen from other companies, but one of the big changes is on the, the lock screen. What they've chosen to do is four options, and these actually look quite decent and all you do is swipe away for whichever option you want. So you've got your phone, messaging, camera and dress drag to unlock like so. The bottom of the front features the on-screen capacitive keys which unfortunately don't seem to light up. Overall the design of this is exceptionally, is very nice, it, it's very sleek, it's a unibody design and Lenovo have actually done a lot of thinking about the design of their smartphone. The front of the Lenovo Vibex features a 5 inch full HD 1080p display that offers 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution and outputs 441 pixels per inch pixel density. Lenovo are claiming this is 2020 vision. You may not be able to see this on the actual video, but the, the screen here is absolutely fantastic. And just as a comparison, let's see how it looks to, against the 5 inch full HD Super AMOLED display of the Samsung Galaxy S4. As you can see, there's almost nothing in it. Vibex is coming to the Indian market in December this year. There's no pricing information as yet, but we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.